Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the IB Film Show with David Shotwell. I am your host, David Shotwell, and I'm here today with a very talented filmmaking team. We have another picture to take a look at from GI Squared Productions, and it is my pleasure to introduce on the editing boards for this project, Mackenzie Cray. Our sound designer for this picture, Sophie Greenberg. Um, our director for this picture, Noel Kearney. And the picture cinematographer, Emily I. Cabellis. Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. My pleasure, <laughs> as always. It's good to see you again. Um, so I know, having seen the film, we'll get started with some general questions, I suppose, that this piece, this particular film, was heavily inspired by Catherine Bigelow's iconic 90s film, Point Break. It's a chase scene. Very exciting. Um, however, there's clearly more to this film than just the action and the Point Break influence. So I guess I kind of wanted to start by asking, beyond Point Break, what other films, shows, media inspired some of the things and the ideas we're going to see in this film? I'll take this one, guys. Um, well, during the beginning of the year in our English classes, we were watching The Social Dilemma, which kind of has to do with like technology and the attachment that like the, our age group like has to it and I think that kind of inspired the theme behind our project. Interesting. Uh, that actually leads pretty directly into my second question which goes into a little bit more about that. There, there appears to be a lot of symbolism and meaning in the film. I mean again it is a, it's a chase scene, right? It's action packed and it's relatively short but clearly in the robot character which you play Sophie and just the general approach to technology and media there's a lot behind this. Um, can any of you discuss a bit what this film is really about in terms of its like social commentary? Um, the robot character is supposed to represent the hold that social media has on our age group and really just like everyone in general because social media is everywhere nowadays. Mm. There's really no escaping from it, which is the whole point of our chase and why the robot is chasing our influencer. Mm. Uh, and again, a really strong symbol in the film, I think, Sophie's robot character. Thanks for explaining that a little bit. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Mackenzie, question for you specifically. Uh, you handled the editing on this film. And I understand that this was your first time really running the editing boards on your own. Uh, it's a lot to do on this project. There's a lot of cutting. There's a lot of stitching together. Um, How would you pull it together, given your relative lack of experience with editing here? Um, well, I think it was definitely difficult to adapt to Adobe Premiere from being at home from COVID and then using iMovie, you just put in the video, do put, add some text on it, and that's pretty much it. Mm. And Adobe Premiere is a lot more advanced than that with a lot of different features, and it made it a lot easier. But it did take a lot of trial and error because I really didn't know what I was doing, but at the end it just made it easier. And Impressive. Yeah. Impressive. Thank you. Yeah, it, it doesn't show. I think the editing shows a lot of a, a lot of real sort of attention to detail and promise. Nicely Thank done. Thank you. Uh, Sophie, you specifically handled the sound design on this project, which I thought was interesting because I know we discussed during production uh, that you were a little bit nervous about your relative lack of experience as a musician in terms of composing music for a film. Uh, what inspired your approach to the music on this film, and how did you end up getting it composed? Um, well, I actually was really nervous to do the music at first because this was my first time doing sound design for any of our films. Um, but when we watched the clip of Point Break in our class, mm. I kind of noticed that the music was very simple, but it still like was powerful, I guess you could say, cool. in a way. And so I kind of wanted to create something like that, where it was simple, but it also inspired like the chase and you could tell that something intense was like happening. Also like the elevator music that we added in. Yeah. The music that I made at first got like very repetitive after a while and like you couldn't listen to it for that long. So I think adding in the elevator music during our um, chase scene really helped with that. It's very clever. Yeah, it's a nice break in the sort of what, what approaches monotony with the music and then kind of maintains its excitement throughout the whole way. Uh, Noelle, direction. Excellent job, a lot of responsibility. And I noticed that as you were directing this picture, uh, you, for several personal affairs and reasons, had to be absent quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So how did you stay on top of the project and keep it organized as a director from a distance when you were away from school? Um, I think absences were a problem uh, with this group as a whole. But the way that we kind of figured that out was if there was somebody absent, we had trust in each other that somebody else would fill that place for the day or for however long that person was absent. Um, 
the whole script was written out and that really helped us to stay on track with like the creativity ideas and stuff so that everybody kind of everyone's heads were in the same place mm, mm. you guys did a lot of organization ahead of time yeah and planning, for sure uh, last question is for you, Emily, on the cinematography on this project. Um, I think perhaps the influence of Catherine Bigelow's Point Break shows up the most in you, specifically your camera work on the picture. Can you discuss the connection a little bit, how the cinematography of Point Break, specifically Point Break's foot chase, influenced your approach to shooting this picture? Yeah, so in the Point Break sequence of when they're tracking like the runners chasing down like a little alley, I really liked how it was like organic and like how you, like the camera was shaking and like it almost like as in the audience like watching it, it allowed us to like get a really cool like perspective of the chase. So I definitely want to incorporate that in the the in like the film. Mm. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, I noticed a lot of handheld cinematography. There's there's some shots that really directly compare. It's very interesting. All right. Well, without further ado, thank you so much, ladies. Let's take a look at the film. We'll check out uh, GIC Squared's Productions' latest film, Robot. reach 100 million followers. You all make me love what I do so much and I appreciate every single one of you. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and I'm going to be taking a break from social media for right now for my mental health. XOXO Charlie, signing off. Come. OMG! Hi, you must be here with my Charlie drink. Beep boop, return to TikTok. Beep boop. Hello, what? Beep boop, must return to TikTok. Beep boop, must return to TikTok. Beep boop. I'm starting to think you're not my Dunkin' delivery. Beep boop, return to TikTok. Beep boop, return um, to TikTok. You're kind of freaking me out. I'm gonna go. Why does it matter if I continue as an influencer? I just want my normal life back. Return to TikTok.
thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you to our viewing audience. That has been the end of our latest edition of the Ivy Film Show with Mr. Shotwell. We hope to see you next time, and have a great evening, everybody.